Okay, uh, here's the next uh, video of the tutorial um, of what of the watch clock, and uh, I noticed that I made a little bit of mistake here. It's uh, rotate uh, and not translate. Translate. I didn't. Have, I had translate already, so change that. And uh, next one uh, will have uh, a ring. Uh, set source uh, color and here we'll have a new chi oops, chiro color and uh, put that at 95 and this will be the white basically it, you can you could set to one just basically but I, I put it not completely white but just so it has a little bit of uh, like shade so to speak not just com completely white but anyway and uh, the semicolon and uh, then we'll just take a stroke and um, the next and the last thing uh, we will create a uh, get target and dispose and ring dispose I think this has to do with the um, that it's uh, erasing uh, everything it, it decreases uh, the reference count on this CR by one so I think it has to do that it's, it's basically gonna erase um, the the line from the memory, but just had it uh, in the, just draw it in the vector. And uh, if we go back to the main window and go to source, um, here we will create the uh, we will have to include. Uh, using uh, what's it called clock tutorial and uh, then we'll have to include the watch clock and call it clock and then we have to make an object of it a new watch clock and we'll use the clock here just temporarily here to draw the ring and we'll have to include the uh, uh, G, uh, the drawing uh, area Oops. hmm Just a moment here. If we just run this for the time being, okay, it's working. And oopsie, oopsie. And uh, then we drawing area and uh, GDK window. That's what it's feeding through. That's what the using this as an argument for the parameter. So it draws into drawing area and. Uh, Okay, doesn't draw it. Make sure that drawing, drawing area, and modify uh, background or BG, and state type. State type is normal, and new G, GDK color, and put this five, five, five. So it's it's not completely dark, but it's almost dark. And, uh, okay, we're drawing, but we also need uh, to draw this. Hmm. Let's see why it's not working.
Drawing, drawing area. All oh, right, the, the we'll have to create the the watch clock, uh, the timer itself. So um, so anyway, we'll just remove this one and we'll create a void clock start and. Uh, Here we go to the glib and uh, timeout. This is basically how we create a timer in uh, the mono in mono develop uh, because the timers uh, are based on the system. It, it's very heavily Windows.net based uh, the regular timers. So this is how we create timers in the mono develop in mono. So new uh, glib. Uh, Time out handler, and we'll have an update method here that we'll have to create, and uh, so it will be a bool up, up call it update, and uh, we'll have to have a uh, return return. Rule, and here we will then create a clock uh, drawing, and then include the GDK. I'm sorry, drawing area uh, GDK window, and we'll have to call the clock start. So it's called in the beginning. Oops. And it should work now. And there we go. There we have our first vector. Uh, so um, uh, I will continue with the rest in the tutorial so we can make a um, 12 of these around as a ring as a ring. Yeah, so it will represent the all the clocks like one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay.